it's definitely a last resort. What if you could see what a suspect looks like just from the DNA left behind at a crime scene? Edmonton police are turning towards an emerging technology with hopes of identifying this suspect in a sexual assault case that has gone cold. By using DNA phenotyping, this digital picture was created of a suspect wanted in a 2019 sexual assault. It was a vicious assault, random stranger assault, and the survivor deserves justice as well as the public. Like the public needs to get this person off the street so this offense doesn't happen again. Investigators were unable to find any witnesses or surveillance video. As well, DNA never revealed someone with a police record. The assault happened in March of 2019 near 103rd Street and 114th Avenue. As their last resort, they turned to Parabon Nanolabs in Virginia, hoping this generated image will create leads in their investigation. There have been a lot of successes. Sometimes the picture is completely off. so. Of course, it's a prediction. Parabon says they have helped identify more than 230 persons of interest since they began their snapshot genetic genealogy in May 2018. And what we're trying to do is actually generate new leads from that DNA. So when it doesn't hit in a database, we can still analyze it and tell the investigator something new about that person. There are questions about this investigative technique. Some experts say there isn't enough science to accurately determine the appearance of one's face. We know that there are thousands of different genetic variants that determine the shape of the face. And uh, we know some, we know a very small proportion of them, uh, something like five to 10%. Edmonton police say it is important to note that this photo is not an exact replica of the suspect's appearance. Instead, a scientific approximation in which they hope will generate new leads in their investigation. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.